Hey, how's it going? This is Jamie and welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I want to talk to you about how to calculate your bulking calories. And this is my personal experience that's worked for me. So hopefully this works for you too. So when it comes to bulking, there are two different types of bulk. There is a dirty bulk and a lean bulk. And when it comes to dirty bulking, this is mainly about eating at a really high calorie surplus, not necessarily tracking the calories that you're eating and not necessarily caring so much where those calories are coming from. So you may get a lot of those calories from junk food. And what this leads to is really fast weight gain. So you'll put on size really quickly. You may put on quite a lot of strength in the process, but you'll also put on a shit ton of fat. So when it comes to the end of your bulk and when it comes to actually cutting down and losing that fat, it's gonna take a much longer time to do. And it's generally more an unhealthy way to bulk and then you've got lean bulking which is more about putting on lean muscle over a longer period of time keeping that fat gain down as much as possible so that when it comes to the end of your bulk when it comes to actually cutting down and dieting it's not going to take you as long to do and it's generally more a healthier way of bulking so i'm going to be focusing on the latter i have dirty bulked in the past but in hindsight, it's something I wish if I never did. I did put on a lot of fat in the process, so it's not something that I would recommend that you do. So when it comes to calculating your calories on a lean bulk, you first need to work out what your maintenance calories are. And the way that I did this is I used the TDEE calculator, which stands for Total Daily Energy Expenditure. And the reason why I say estimate maintenance calories is because these calculators, in my opinion, are not very accurate. Everybody's metabolism is different. I've got quite a high metabolism, so I have to eat quite a lot of food to put weight on. Your calories may be different from mine. So this is why I would recommend using this calculator as just an estimate. And then once you know that estimation, then you're then gonna play around with that to find out what your accurate maintenance calories are. So as I mentioned, you need to use a TDE calculator. I'll link in the description to one below. Once you land on the calculator, it will ask you for some information such as your age, your weight, your height, and your total daily activity. And once you've entered this, you'll be given your maintenance calories, which as I said, we're gonna use as an estimate. So I recommend then eating at this estimated maintenance calories for two to three weeks, and then sort of monitoring over this period of time, whether you're putting on weight or whether you're losing weight. So if you find that your weight is actually going up, then I would recommend reducing your estimated maintenance calories by 100 calories and then monitoring that again. And on the other side, if you're losing weight, I would recommend increasing by 100 calories and then monitoring that also. And you need to either increase or decrease in, in increments of 100 calories until you get to the point where your weight is not moving up or it's not moving down. And once that's happening, you know that you're then eating at your maintenance calories and you know what your maintenance calories are. And once you know your maintenance calories, it's then a case of working out what your bulking calories are gonna be. Now I recommend starting off with a small calorie surplus of 300 calories. So you wanna be increasing your maintenance calories by around about 300. And then just as you did before, you want to be monitoring this over a period of time. And you wanna be aiming for a sweet spot, which is around about half a pound of weight gain per week. Anything more than that, and you're really gonna be putting on unnecessary fat. And what you probably find is because you've only increased your calories by a small amount, you're probably not gaining enough weight per week. So just like you did before with your maintenance, you need to just up your calories in 100 calorie increments until you get to that point where you are gaining half a pound per week. And then once you're gaining that, you wanna sort of maintain that throughout the whole cycle of your bulk. So as your weight starts to increase, your metabolism may change and you may need to start eating more calories to continually keep putting weight on. So if you notice that your weight drops below half a pound a week, again, just increasing 100 calorie increments to keep it at that half a pound a week weight gain. So that's how I go about calculating my bulking calories. Um, but it's important once doing that, you know where those calories are gonna be coming from in terms of macronutrients. So what currently works for me is from my bulking calories, I'm eating 55% carbohydrates, 20% protein and 25% fats. So once I know this, I'm then in a position to be able to plan my day so I know exactly what foods I'm gonna be eating ahead of time. If you're interested to know how I go about planning my foods for the day, in terms of what I'm eating for the day to make sure I hit my macros, I have done a video about this in the past which I'll link up somewhere here. So feel free to check that out. So that's how I go about calculating my calories for the day on a bulk. If you've enjoyed this video, please feel free to drop a like, subscribe to the channel if you wanna see more content. I'm trying to put a video out once a week. So if you're enjoying what you see, subscribe, and I will see you on the next video.